Good morning, friends. Mark Holmes here, of course, with my buddy Cowboy Joe Boo and Joe Bear in the house. And as always, I want to thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys and you wonderful ladies, this literally does not work. So let's get open for business here. And let's wake up those football gods here on this hump day. And in case you hadn't heard, we have six days left for players to be franchise tagged, including one Dak Prescott. But before we get on to everything that is Dak Prescott, and before I get accused of only doing Dak Prescott content, quite frankly, since we only have one quarterback currently on the roster, which is Ben DiNucci, I think it's kind of important to talk about a quarterback, but be that as it may. Is DeMarcus Ware thinking about coming out of retirement? I know you think I'm crazy, but I want you to check this out. Um, and, and I'm not saying the Cowboys should look at signing DeMarcus Ware. Just, just, just follow along here. First, we had Miles Garrett. You know, one of the freaks of nature right now, currently in the NFL. Got a 64-inch box jump at the end of a lower body session. All right, we did a lot of, a lot of strength work today. I don't think that he's necessarily going to hit it, but he wants to give me lunch, so here we are. Damn. How, what, how many inches is that? Lunch on me. 64 inches, okay? Not to be outdone, we had DeMarcus Ware showing the young pups. I saw Miles Garrett jump a 64-inch box. And I got inspired. 38 years old, maybe I can still jump 64 inches, but <laughs> here's 66. But we'll see what's going to happen. Ready? That's a long way up. Three, two, one. Ah! What's up, baby? Yeah! Hey, Miles, imagine <laughs> me on one side and you on the other side. Dude, we would crush the quarterback. Come on, man. I saw. I, I got to tell you. <laughs> You impressed me. Now, now, two things on here, okay? Now, I, I will say two things in Miles Garrett's defense. My man did say he did a full workout before, you know, strength and everything else. So this was after the end of the workout. I'm going to put that out there. He also did it from a standing, okay? DeMarcus Ware did go ahead and get the running start, but I don't care how you got there. 66 inches, five and a half feet. Dude, that's right here. He literally jumped right here. So, yeah. Now, does this mean DeMarcus Ware is thinking about coming back? I don't think so. But, you know, when, when you're old and guys, you know, like guys like Miles Garrett would say, you know, I remember in Pee Wee watching you, DeMarcus Ware on the field and things like that. That's when you kind of want to say, come here, kid. Let me show you something. Psh, 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 psh. Let me show you. I may not be quite as old as you think, but shout out to DeMarcus Ware, uh, who still got it. Still looks like he's incredible, in incredible shape. So moving right along on there, Miss Jackie shared um, an article with me as we get down to thinking about what the Cowboys are going to do. Um, it's kind of crazy. Where is it? Here it is right here. It's kind of crazy because, as I just pointed out, we are six days away from the deadline for franchise tagging. Now, let's be clear. There's only one person that may get the franchise tag on the Cowboys, and that's Dak Prescott. But that is the linchpin for everything else that is the Dallas Cowboys for the season. Because you have to understand that right now, we're 11 days, 11 days from the time when players can start negotiating with other teams and it becomes final, they can finally sign on the 17th, 11 days. And we have a lot of free agents and guys that we've said, you know, we're interested in keeping. We have to start making moves on keeping these guys, which means we also need to figure out 
are we restructuring contracts? If Dak Prescott's going to be franchise tag, they have to create some more space under the cap to get him there. Currently, but, and here's the other part of this equation that I keep kind of putting out there. Teams don't necessarily know exactly how much money they need to create because the NFL has not come up with the final salary cap number. So arbitrarily, they're saying it's going to be at least 180. So my question for the NFL, and I wish I had an answer for this, is does that mean that's going to be the target or are we going to get a final number before the 17th? Because clearly, if it's 180 versus, say, 185, that means i got to do more restructuring that I may not want to, or I may have to release a player that I don't want to. So you seem to, you need a little bit more clarity in that. So looking at two of the cap calculators, one has us at 27, one has us at 19. So there's a big difference between the two because $8 million is enough to sign a player, a good, a really good player, and maybe in a year like this where it's going to be a depressed market, Maybe two really good players. You think about Namak and Sue got $8 million. $8 million in play in there. So that's a question that teams don't have an answer for just yet. And if the Cowboys are actually at one night, at 19, you got to get to 37. That means you've got to create $18 million of space just to tag Dak. And that's before you try to do anything with your free agents. And if you're talking about keeping a Gerald McCoy, if you're talking about keeping um, Alden Smith or Jordan Lewis or a Woozy or Xavier Woods, as well as some other players, you have to have the money to sign them to a contract or they're free agents and you risk losing them. So the Cowboys have a lot of work to do in the next 11 days and getting Dak Prescott's deal done will help determine a lot of that. If they can get a deal done with Dak Prescott, then get a deal done with Dak Prescott, then that's going to reduce that thirty-seven point seven million dollars salary cap hit that you get for franchise tag. Depending on how they structure it, it could be seventeen million dollars, twenty million, twenty-two. In which case, you've got fifteen million dollars worth of money that you could play with for an Alden Smith or Jill McCoy, and so on. And we'll get into some of the other free agents that. Um, you know, should they stay or should they go uh, on another video? It's just, a, there's a lot of guys to go through and figure out how they're going to do this. But this interesting piece that um, Miss Jackie shared with me, it's funny because there's so many narratives that are out there about Dak Prescott and the Cowboys and the financial situation and so on that the Cowboys, if they pay Dak, don't have the money to spend on players to build a team. And, you know, they keep saying, well, we should be paying you on last year's money, which is what they've done every year. Two years ago, no, we don't want to pay you this year's going rate, 30. We'd rather pay you like 22. Then the next year, we don't want to pay you at 35. We want to pay you at last year's. How about 30? They're always a year behind on where they want to sign it, but unfortunately, the ship sailed. Last year, this time, when the pandemic first started, I started looking at pickup trucks on uh, Carvana. And the trucks I was looking at that were like 27, all of a sudden, the prices started dropping down to like 20 because everything kind of shut down. And it was like, oh, wow. And I kept saying, I'm going to wait a little longer. I'm going to wait a little longer because it might keep on going down. But the thing was is it, it hit bottom and then it went back up. And I was looking at that and I was like, well, damn, I, I, I want it for the 20. It had gone up, not completely where it was, but then it was like 23, 24, but it's like, but, but I want the 20. I'm sorry, that ship sailed. It ain't coming back. I can't get it for 20. I should have done it when I had the chance, but I waited. The price went up as much as I wanted to go back. But I, 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 that, that same truck was, it was $3,000. Oh, sorry, dude. You should have bought it when it was $3,000 less. So you have no recourse. But if you don't buy it now, guess what? The price is going to continue to go up on it. So it's one of those games that you got to play. But the interesting part on this is the NFLPA 
had gone through and they determined that the Dallas Cowboys are a bunch of cheapskates. The NFLPA literally says that the Dallas Cowboys are cheap spenders, cheapskates. That the Cowboys in spending on their team are in the bottom three. Now, mainly that's because they haven't paid the quarterback. The first three years of Dak Prescott's contract, the backup quarterbacks were making as much as he was. The kicker was making more money than he was. $680,000 is what we paid the quarterback for three years. The fourth year was $2 million. Ooh, big time money there. And, of course, last year the franchise tag. So in comparison to other teams, like let's say the Colts, who ended up spending $25 million for Phillip Rivers and twenty one million for Jacoby Brissett, they spent forty six. million. Cowboys averaged $6 million in quarterbacks over the last five years. And if the Cowboys had that opportunity where they weren't spending money on players, where they literally are on the bottom three, of spending money, and they didn't, why do we think that if they happen to get Dak Prescott to a cheap contract now, that they're going to go out there and spend money to fix the team? They're not. That's just another one of the lines that the Cowboys are doing to go ahead and, you know, get those cheaper contracts. Now, that's not to say that they haven't made some mistakes in contracts because they have paid some guys. But when you look at the balance of the roster, it's very top-heavy. And I dare say that teams that have success over the longevity, and I look at a New England Patriots, and New England Patriots that you watch will rebound big time because they took this past season as a redshirt year. They had so many players that sat out. Instead of going into last year being in cap hell and losing their quarterback, they kind of had a bad season where they've got high draft picks. <coughs> Excuse me. My apologies on that one. Mm, don't know what happened. Got a tickle in my throat and just kind of couldn't stop coughing. So we're actually going to try and do some editing this morning. So that's going to be something a little bit different. But if the Cowboys had the opportunity in 2016, 2017, 2018, 2019 to spend money to fix the team, why didn't they? And why do we believe that now all of a sudden, you know, if we, if we continue not to pay our quarterback, we're going to go ahead and get players to fix the team. And I dare say, how often does it work that a team just goes out and they just build a team through all free agents? Generally speaking, it does not happen. Generally speaking, it's teams that go through and build through the draft. Case in point, the Washington football team, that for years was always the offseason champion, signing the big-name free agents, especially on defense, to yet year after year fail. Finally, Washington gets back into the playoffs. One, I'm going to tell you, uh, Ron Rivera scares me as their head coach. But their defense largely is built by guys they drafted. And that's where you have to really look at this. But... That is just another one of the BS scenarios that they're giving you that, oh, we can't, pay, we, 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 we can't pay Dak because, you know, we can't field a team. Okay. Next. So, in the meantime, to recap what happened yesterday is Dak Prescott is looking to be right behind Pat Mahomes. Not bigger than Pat Mahomes, right behind Pat Mahomes' contract. Um, the Cowboys and Todd France have been communicating, and there is optimism thus far between the two sides, more so than we've had in probably quite a while since Jerry Jones in that first uh, season two years ago thought that they would have the deal done in a couple of weeks, but it turned out it, it didn't. So maybe, maybe by next Tuesday, and I'm thinking actually this week, I'm thinking, uh, that's that's my, my thoughts, that would give the Cowboys time to figure out what they're going to do with everybody else before free agency starts. So we'll see where this all goes. And as always, friends, I want to thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. We'll see you soon.